Okay, friends, uh, we can continue with the discussion on this topic, uh, Intec Revolution. Although the CUP and the League played a significant role in disseminating and stimulating liberal law, the actual impetus for the Intec Revolution of 1908 came from groups within the empire, particularly from discontent members of the Third Army Corps uh, in Macedonia. See, what happened in the history of this Intec Revolution, we can see that uh, initially it was started from the part of the students or it's a, as a part of a student movement and uh, some of them migrated to uh, foreign countries, uh, uh, became fear of this uh, ruler, uh, ruling party. And the second phase we can see that uh, this uh, revolution or uh, rebellion from the part of these uh, military corps and many young officers of the corps uh, garrisoned at Thessalonica, that is now uh, Thessalonica in Greece, organized to form the Ottoman Liberty Society in 1906. So this revolution from the students uh, uh, expanded to the uh, military men and the military officials, youth officials also from this. Uh, during this time, they, uh, they tried to make reform in this administration and they organized to form the Ottoman Liberty Society in 1906. This secret revolutionary group merged with the CUP in Paris the following year, bringing to the young Turk ideologist the command of the Third Army Corps. Later in 1907, the CUP and the League of Private Initiative and the decentralization agreed, though reluctantly, to work together to achieve their common goal. So, this student movement and these uh, military officials or officials, young officials, and these two uh, groups uh, became uh, united in Paris. And they worked together against this Sultan Abdul Hamid for establishing this. Uh, or uh, this constitutional developments in Turkey. On July 3rd, 1908, Major Ahmad Niyazi of the Third Corps led a revolt against the provincial authorities in Rasna. Other conspirators soon followed his example and the rebellion rapidly spread throughout the empire. Unable to rely on government troops, Abdul Hamid announced on July 23 the restoration of the 1876 constitution and recalled parliament. So what happened in, uh, in 1908 that uh, he tried he tried to uh, uh, restore the constitution of 1876 by this rebellious from the from, from the part of this uh, military men or military officials. And the Young Turk had succeeded in establishing a constitutional government, but their deep-seated ideological differences uh, resurfaced and prevented them from taking effective control of that government until 1913. When the CUP and the new leaders, the triumvirate of uh, Talat Pasha, Kamal Pasha and Anwar Pasha set itself up as the real arbiter of Ottoman policies throughout politics. And this uh, development by restoration of the constitution in Turkey and the Ottoman, the young Turk officials or groups, they were uh, came into power by this restoration of the parliament. While in power, the Inter carried out administration uh, or administrative reforms, especially of provincial administration, and that led to more centralization. They were also the first Ottoman reformers to promote industrialization. In addition, the programs of the Inter regime uh, effectuated greater secularization of the legal system and provided for the education of women and better state operated primary schools, uh, such uh, positive developments in domestic affairs, however, were largely 